Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And, you know, the Autoplex invited us to tour several garages to see the collections and meet the owners, allowing us to create a virtual car show for you. Every oh. month, the Autoplex gives back to a different charity, and this month's charity recipient is Special Olympics of Minnesota. Through Special Olympics, athletic, health, and leadership programs, people with intellectual disabilities transform themselves, their communities, and the world. With your support, Special Olympics can transform lives through the joy of sport each and every day. Every day they empower athletes to shatter stereotypes and exceed their personal best on the playing field and in life. But for every inspiring Special Olympics athlete in Minnesota, there are 21 more people waiting for their chance, and so many more around the world. So, make a difference in Minnesota. Click on the charity link in our description down below. Also, give us a like and click on the subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification. That's right. So, what do you say, Nate? Let's go for a ride. Hello, folks. I'm Nathan with Two Guys to Ride. Today we are out here at Chanhassen Autoplex again and doing some uh, reviews of uh, garage tour, our garages and cars and their owners. And today I'm here with Tom. Tom, thank you for having us in. Thank you for coming. Oh. Welcome to the Autoplex. It was a really tough day to wake up and know I was coming here. I'll tell you what, yeah. you probably had the same thought. Yeah. So um, let, let's just start with the garage itself. Okay. When, you, when you bought this, yeah. was the mezzanine and the decorations, were those all up here, or did you build this from scratch? No, no, I, when I bought it, it was actually the, the uh, developer's garage. Okay, okay. So, so it was a showcase. Yeah, and he actually worked out, upstairs was actually his office. Okay. Okay, so the basic structure was here when okay. I moved in. I, I did add that back wall there. Okay. I, originally, I, I planned on having a shop back there, yep. but unfortunately I had, I had grew the garage with cars, <laughs> and I put the sink in back there. So I've done some of that, and most, almost all the decorations you see, I've added over so, time. Uh, okay. You have so many things in here, and, and it's obvious from just the outlook of the garage that it, th this is everything Chevrolet. Right, I'm a Chevrolet guy, no question uh, about it. And, and we'll point out a few little things that are not Chevrolet, but we'll get to those <laughs> okay. in a minute. So um, let's just start at the beginning up here. So you've got uh, you know sort of two, wooden structures built into the right. side. Actually, what I have and over there, there's a, there's a fire system for the building that's out okay. over there, and my air compressor is inside there. Okay. So I have the shop air, a pipe for air, so when I'm working on my cars, so through the, goes down through the walls and everything. So that's in there, as well as I have my cleaning supplies. Okay. And in this particular one is where my heater is. I thought it was an outhouse. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? And uh, so the heater's in there, and then it's just storage. So I have chairs and some other things, cones and things that I put out, but it's used just really for storage. Uh, in, in looking at all the stuff that you have in the walls, Tom, you have a real uh, variety, let's say. So, But you have a colorful background. So um, you have actually lived overseas for many years. Right, 12 years, that's uh, correct. Uh, Europe. And then some in Asia. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Asia, yes. So you've got a little bit of Europe and a little bit of Asia s spread around here along with your car stuff. And along with some hobbies I have. Okay, because well, so. you were a hunter as well. Hunter, a diver, a diver. And so a I, diver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there anything you don't do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, so I, in my, my opinion, it's really more of a true man cave than maybe uh, a car condo because it really does exhibit a lot of the things that I, I really enjoy besides just my cars as well. So Right. And, and, and it is a beautiful man cave. Thank you, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. So over here, up on this wall, you've got a BMW sign. <laughs> yeah. you know, people are going to look at this and say, what is the Chevy guy doing with a BMW sign? But there's a little story to that. And yeah. So tell us how you got that. Yeah, the, the owner, the original owner of this garage was a BMW guy. And he uh, was in, when they were, they were converting a, a BMW Mercedes dealer, splitting it up. Okay. He happened to be in there. They were getting ready to sign. He asked him if he could have it, and they said, sure. So he brought it here and put it up in his garage. So. All right. You've got a, a couple of uh, animal uh, mounts. So th were these animals that you got? Yes. Now, up on the very top um, of the, uh, where the air, uh, air compressor is located, you have a Ford grill. Yes. <laughs> now, I'll give you credit that the, that the Ford part's kind of faded out, yeah. so no one can really tell. 
But being a Chevy guy, how does that Ford grill end up uh, in your garage? Frank question. My, my son is a big Ford guy, you know. Okay. And so I, I kind of enjoy having to Ford parts around where we have to fix them. You know, the old, uh, you know, repair, you know, fixer, repair daily, you know, type yeah. thing really applies to his truck as well. So, <laughs> so we have parts up there. I got drive shafts over here. I got turbos. We, we built a turbos multiple times. So, so he's a, a little hard on his, on his unit. And so we, we work on it pretty regularly here. So, so, so you're, some of your family is, comes out here and enjoys, well, at least enjoys having you fix their vehicles yeah. out here. What, what you find out is in a winter when you have a car lift and a garage that's fully equipped, you got lots of fronts. Wow. Yeah. A lot of the garages that we see have some type of lift. Um, you know, was there a particular reason you decided to go with this one instead of, you know, like the, the other ones with the tire tr tracks on them that are, but they take up more space. Well, yeah, the, the ramps. The, I mean, this, these work, and, and again, you can get them where you can lift the cars, but these are just, just so much more practical. Uh, you do have uh, some interesting things uh, in terms of some personalities that have been to your garage. Right, yep. So let's, let's, uh, let's start I, um, with the McGuire's. Yeah. Um, you have a picture up there. Yeah. Along, so tell us about that. Yeah, Barry McGuire, uh, 3M did a, a um, event here and they had uh, McGuire and Chip Foose come to this event. And so they came around and talked to different garages, they looked at us, uh, we had the garages open and, and uh, they came around and talked to us and stuff, and Barry saw that sign and got all excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he did. And so he went over and he signed it for me, and then I snapped the picture while he was signing it. Well, yeah, you also had him to sign, uh, to, uh, or was it Chip Foose that signed your, your child's yeah, Corvette toy? Yeah, both of them signed it, yeah. Okay. Yep, and I, it's actually at my home right now. Uh, but typically, yeah, they, it's, oh, it's over there on a picture, that's right, so. You can, oh yeah, there's yeah. a picture right on the yeah, table. Yeah, Barry signing her with her car, so. <laughs> she typically has her car here, but she has it home driving it around. She's driving, so good for her. <laughs> so. At least, she's not, at least it's not a Ford. Yeah, it's not a Ford, there right? You go. It had to be a Chevy, so. <laughs> What? Let's talk about your cars, okay. and then a little bit we'll go behind and kind of see some more of your uh, garage here, and we'll go upstairs. Fair enough. Okay. All right, so let's start up here uh, with this car. So tell us about this. Okay, this is a 1964, let me pick up, excuse me, 1964 Chevy uh, Corvette. As you can see, I'm probably, I'm a Corvette fan. Fantastic cars, love them. Uh, a C2. They're almost as good as Fords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it seems like every car I have almost has a story behind them. Yes, they do. This, this car right here, uh, I got a call from a friend of mine who owns Body Shop who had painted this car for the guy. And it's been in his family, I got all the history of it, kind of his family or his relatives the whole time. So he actually bought it from his aunt. So anyways, um, and the guy who did all the, the mechanical work when they restored it, was also a friend of mine. Huh? So he called me up and said, this guy's trying to sell his car. You know, he's going through a divorce. He needs money, he needs it quick, you know? And so I said, okay, I've, I've been looking around. He knew, Mike knew I was looking for a, a C2. Yep. So I, we went over and looked at it, and uh, I drove it, and it was really scary. I mean, it was, it was uh, it, it, the steering was really, there was really was, something wrong with it. And so I came back, I asked him about it, and he said, well, you know, you get used to it over a while. I said, no, no, no. I said, I didn't know if I was going to make it back. But anyway, so I said, based on that, you know, I opened the hood and I saw the, the rag on it was almost completely ripped through. Oh. I mean, so it was, it was, it, it was, a, it was an issue. But anyway, so I shot him a little offer. He said, no way. I said, okay, I, you know, I'm... That's fine. That's fine. And so I left. A day later, he calls me up and says, okay, if you can give me cash by the end of the week, you can have the car. <laughs> and so... I got the car and uh, I talked to my friend Mike and I said, I, I wish it had the hard top. And he said, you know, when I restored the car, I think I had that hard top and he said he, he didn't want it. it. Oh. So he went up in his attic at his body shop and he had, and he still he had, had it. it. The so, original top. To the, the original car. top. So we, we, you know, we restored the top then. All right, so let us move over here to your uh, 98 pace car. Yeah, 98 pace car. This was a, one, one of the more I said, flashy Corvettes that they made with the purple and yellow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, this one I found, uh, I was looking around for one, and, and I found one online from a private guy in Florida. So I called him up, he was actually in the hospital. Oh. <laughs> and, I, and I said, okay, I'll call you back later. He said, no, no, I want to talk to you. you know, so we started talking about the car. He was a private collector. Okay. Um, it had 4,000 miles on it. Wow. That's <clears throat> and uh, he had all the kind of the paraphernalia type stuff that yeah, he had collected over the yeah. years. The, 
pit pass from the Indianapolis oh, fun. And, and calendars. I mean, he had all this stuff. And so I started talking to him and said, okay, what do you want for this car? You know, I go, wait a minute, wait a minute, who are you? He said, I don't sell my cars to just anybody. Oh. So he had actually went through a qualification with me. I had to send him pictures of my garage, <laughs> pictures oh, of my wow. car. Yeah, yeah. He, he wanted to make sure a car was going to go somewhere right. He's, care of. Yeah, he said that his cars are almost like children to him. And so, so you didn't send him a picture of the Ford Grill? No, I didn't send him a picture of that. <laughs> so he wanted to make sure I wasn't looking to just flip it okay. and some of those type things. So it actually gave me a pretty good deal on the car, and it, it's, it's virtually like brand new. Like I think I got maybe... I might have 5,000 miles on it now, maybe. Wow. Uh, I try and put 500 miles a year on all my cars. Yeah. So I, I rotate a car home every, every week. You know. That must be tough. <laughs> I, I pity your job. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's move over to this one right here. Tell us about this one. This is my, my first Corvette I got. It's an 08 Z51. Um, I went down to look at actually a uh, Z06 okay. with my wife. And... You know, we looked at it, and it was a really neat, nice car, and I was interested in getting it, but she doesn't like stick cars, you know. Okay, yeah. So she said, if you buy it, go ahead, but I'll never drive it. And so well, I'd like you to be able to drive it. And so I'm talking to the guy, and he said, well, I just got a car in, it, it was in 09. Okay. I got a car in just a couple of days ago. It's a Z51. Would you be interested in looking at it? He said, we haven't really cleaned it up. So I, they pulled it out, we, we looked at it, and I drove it. It was, again, it had like 1,500 miles on it. Wow. And so I ended up buying that. This one has 10,000 miles on it today. It's an 08. It's one of my first cars that I had uh, in this area, so. That, that's always fun when we talk about your first cars. Yeah. And that, that's neat. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's go over to this one okay. here. This is your 1940 Chevy. Yep, 1940 Chevy. Uh, the, the, again, story behind this is the, a preacher in Iowa bought uh, 1940 old car and uh, kind of cool but we have all the history I got the original VIN tag from the car but he bought it stored it for many many years yep and started to rebuild it and either lost interest or whatever and sold it to a guy in Michigan okay. Jimmy who I got it from and Jimmy finished the car and uh, and had it for about a year or so and just decided you know to, to sell it and so I ended up getting it had some interesting event with this car. Uh, when I first got it, put it off the truck, I ran it over the car wash and I uh, washed it and what I didn't realize at the time was it had popper, popper doors. So, so both, both keys were inside the car. It's inside the car wash. So I said, I got problems now. So I called up Jimmy and I said, Jimmy, do you have a hidden, because a lot of times they hide something You're underneath right. it. And he said, no, I didn't. I said, okay. I said, my keys, I said, I, my keys are in the car. And he said, well, just use your other set. You should have got two. And I said, they're both in the car. He said, what do you do that for? And I said, well, I don't know what it is. But he said he always left the window open. In case he oh, ever sure. had, yeah, always the driver window open. Yeah, you let him open uh, to close because yep. you're in the car yep. wash. And so uh, what we ended up doing, talking through it was, on the back panel, on the back seat, is screwed in from the trunk. He does have, so you can get in the trunk, because the battery goes dead, you have to, you have to okay. get back. So I could get into that, and I unscrewed the back panel, and then I could crawl through and get ah. my keys. Right. But now, as you notice, the driver's window is down on yes. this car, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's not going to rain in here. Yeah, no, I keep it down all the time as well. That is a beautiful car, though. I mean, yeah. that, that I just, I, I absolutely love all the custom customization done on it and the... And the yeah, they did a really, really planes. nice job. Uh, yep. Let's go back here to your uh, uh, yellow Corvette. Okay. That's a so zero. this is a ZR1, uh, uh, 2010, uh, 330, or 638 horsepower. Fun car to Can drive. The first generation of the ZR1 is this one. So okay. this so this is a 1991 ZR1 Corvette. It's got the LT5 motor in it, which okay. is which was um, people that know it give me a hard time. They say it's a boat motor because it was built by Mercury Marine. Oh, it was interesting. It was designed by Lotus. GM figured out they couldn't build it, so they 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 contracted Mercury Marine to build this car, and it's uh, 307 it's 375 horsepower. Um, but it, it, at the time, it had like five or six world endurance records this car held. Wow. Um, the LT5 is a motor, they said it basically bull, bulletproof. You get in it, put it to the floor, and just keep it there all day, and it just runs forever. You know? yeah. so, so, but this is your workshop area. So this is where you have all your tools and your, uh, you know, anything that you would use to work on yeah. the car itself. Sure, for detailing the cars or whatever, all the, all this stuff's back here, just parts back here as well. Uh, I got this one, uh, that's Chip Foose and uh, 
yeah. McGuire at the oh. 3M fundraiser did that, and so I asked him if he drew, drew that. Chip Foose drew that. That's right. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, he drew that. He's yeah. quite the artist. Yeah, and uh, so I spend most of my time down here, probably 99% of my time. Uh, one of the interesting things about your garage is you actually have a, a double door large enough to push your car through. Right, yep. Right out onto the back veranda. Right. Uh, we're we're outside is, the garage right now. You've got two more cars out here. So tell us, tell us about this one right here. Okay, that's a 71 Chevelle SS, uh, 454, Ooh. four speed car. Be great Beautiful. car. Beautiful car. Uh, this one I've had for quite a while and I've been doing a lot of work on totally restoring it. So I've taken it to shows where they judge it. Right. And then they tell me what isn't original, what needs to be changed. And the first time I went to a show, they just bludgeoned me. I mean, it was, it was, it was. It, was, it wasn't a good report card. <laughs> oh, no, they just bludgeoned me. Because uh, they go through looking at bolts and wires and, and tie downs. And I mean, they go clamps. They're, they, they're, they're very thorough. They're very thorough. I mean, and so they had a whole list of stuff that, so I, so I'd go over the winter, then I'd, I'd pick one of those areas yeah, and, and start it. working on it. Yep, yep. And so it's, it's, it's a beast to drive. Fun car. A really, really fun car. Um, oh, I bet it's fun to drive. All right. Tell us about this one right over here. Okay. Okay. This is a, a 1957 uh, Bel Air. It has a 327 out of a 65 Corvette. Okay. <laughs> motor for it. Four speed car. So it, it's a, a, a really, really fun car to drive. It's pretty much stock other than the drivetrain. Okay. And it has a custom interior, but it's it been similar to what you would have had in 57 otherwise okay. and it's been you know customized with the GM bow ties. But we want to go upstairs and take a look at your loft so okay. let's head up there. Sounds good. All right. So, As we're going upstairs here I'm, you know we're just noticing some of the pictures you got framed up yeah. here. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah I have, a, I have a good friend he worked for me for years named Norman Gillette out of Boston. He's a professional photographer. He came out here flew out here one time with his camera gear and shot a number of my cars a bunch of shots back in behind my garage here so I have four of the pictures that I, I thought I really liked a lot I hung up there. Um, you have a nice living room area here yeah. I know your family comes and uses this area more than you do. Yeah I, absolutely so during car shows my family's usually up here if my uh, some my grandchildren or some they come up here they want to watch TV up here uh, and this this is air conditioned and stuff so in the summer it's it's nice, it's nice up here. And comfortable. Nice and comfortable yeah. up here and I have a good friend who's in uh, on a crew of Air Force One. Oh, so wow. so when President Trump was in town, you know, I toured Air Force One. Oh, I got cool. a picture of my <laughs> oh, look at that. coming out of Air Force One over there. So, uh, and that's uh, got to be an amazing plane. To yeah, be. It's, it's unbelievable plane. Wow, unbelievable. So, I come so up here. I have a computer up here, so if I need to look up car parts or something, I do that. Okay. If I'm not on my phone. Um, I, I noticed it's close to the bar. <laughs> close to the bar. So you say you have that. <laughs> You also have a bathroom. This is where your bathroom is. Yep, full bathroom, and, the shower and, and everything. Yep. Oh, and you have a shower and everything. Yeah, yep. Which oh, that's that's nice. Yep. Uh, and then um, you have is that that's that a fridge or is that a wine that's a, cooler? It's well, it's, I use it as a fridge. It's it's okay. originally it was wine cooler. So okay. I have one up and one down. Okay. Uh, so so I have. That's nice. Cooker. You don't have to run up and downstairs yeah, all the time right. to, to get drink it. at least. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And then, and then coming out to your deck out here, you've got a, a different deck from everyone else because you happen to be on the corner. So you've got um, a left and right portion to your deck. Yeah. Again, attached to the clubhouse, but it's yeah, nice size deck overlooking the uh, the wildlife area. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, and it's it, it's. Uh, I mean, it's almost double wide from what we've seen yeah. in other garages. So it's just fun to see all the little different things. You can actually just get people out here. Sure, absolutely. Great place during the car show for you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, you car know, show. Tom, out of all the things in your garage, the things that you do, what's one of your favorite things about the garage, about having it? Well, you know what, I, I like probably two things. One is I like the, the, the car club community. Like, yeah. And the other thing I really enjoy is, you know, uh, working on the cars and, and sharing it with my fa friends and family. Yeah. Tom, thank you so much for taking your time today I'm, to show us your awesome garage and, and, and your car. We really appreciate it. No, I'm glad you guys had an opportunity to stop by. I love showing it off and, and, and would, would invite people to come out and, and visit when we start the car start shows to back up again. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, thanks again, Tom. Appreciate thank you. It. Thank you.